<laughs> oh god it's been ages again i'm so bad at this my excuse is sorry i'm like really low down in the frame my excuse is i work 50 hours a week i work 50 hours a week oh i don't know and life's busy but we're back we're back um just making my lunch i feel like i need way better lighting i mean i'm only making a sandwich i'm gonna make a tuna tuna MS tuna who do i think i am there's a cost of living crisis love um i'm gonna make basically a tuna cardo from joe and the juice but in a bagel and i'm very excited so what we're we gonna do i'm literally making it up by the way i have no recipe um oh i do have dried dill is dried dill the same as fresh dill oh smell the same are you in date i mean surely it's fine it's a dried herb right l-i-f-e-g-o-e-s-o-n best pour may 23 we good so green pesto tuna then i'm gonna mix with mayo and dill and a bit of salt and pep mayonnaise avocado anyway avocado slices of tomato that i need to get out of my bag and yeah i'm gonna put it all in a bagel oh yeah baby um so here it is i was watching grackle when i was making it so i was um got the pesto on both sides tuna mayo on both sides dill bit more pesto on top tomatoes avocado and i'm gonna put a little bit eh. a little bit more salty salt oh god okay too much too much and hold on wait a damn minute Everything's a mess. Everything's a mess in my house. I need to clean it. Eh. Oh my God, chef. I am a chef. Okay, I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh, I do you know what? I have a serrated knife, but I literally bought it today. So I'm gonna have to use a non-serrated knife. So excuse me while this fucks up. excited this is gonna be messy um i'm gonna eat this get my water and then i'm gonna update you on my life because i'm not gonna lie i when i'm like this hungry i need to just eat in peace i need to eat in the, in the quiet well not the quiet i'll probably watch youtube or whatever but like it's not gonna be pretty okay love ya look at them crow's feet oh I've just taken my makeup off because my eye was watering. I don't know why. Um, what should we do? I need to sit on the floor, I think. Ow! Ah! Oh, fuck me! Guys, I fell up the stairs yesterday um, on my way into work. Massively bruised my knee. It's not so good. Um, you need something to sit on. One second. Baked cookie candle delicious i mean it's okay actually oh that'll do that'll do just just ignore the ironing board i've got to do like a huge clean today it's got to happen it's got to happen anyway hello how are you just in case you forgot my name is bethan nice to meet you <laughs> um oh god do you know there will be a year where i upload stuff on the regular i just oh god i hate my i hate myself for not uploading more but then you can't be like you know thinking about life like why didn't i do this why didn't i do that but like life is busy like it's busy yeah if and if i don't work full time i haven't got any money so you gotta do what you gotta do but um thought i'd update you on what's been happening since i saw you last uh i went to tenerife it was so nice at the end of september for a week and it was lovely apart from the last two days where it like torrential rained the whole time like day and night um 
but whatever we made the best of it we had some drinks we played some games you know and yeah so we did that and then i mean before that i don't think anything interesting happened i think i just went to work <laughs> So anyway, I'll insert anything that I got from Tenerife now. I didn't, I think I was going to do like a whole Tenerife vlog, but classic me, didn't. So I will insert everything that I've got now. Oh my god, my hair is going to be so frizzy today. Hello guys, I'm halfway through my makeup, so I look a little... Oh crazy. Um, but I'm in Tenerife with my boyfriend, Jakob's just in the shower. Um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to start the video. We arrived last night and we just had like a little day at the pool today. So like nothing, you haven't missed anything exciting. Um, and it's a bit overcast today, not too bad. Like it was still warm and we still had like bouts of sun, but the next couple of days are meant to be really hot and nice. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, let me show you our room really quick. It's like a two floor duplex thing we've made a bit of a mess already this is the balcony in our bedroom looks like this bit wet on the floor as you can see because it rained last night um yeah and then i mean our cases and stuff are everywhere at the minute but nice bed dun, dun, dun. nice big wardrobes i mean everything we own is still <laughs> in the suitcases at the minute little mirror hello Bathroom is through there, so like the bedroom is on ground, uh, like a lower floor, not ground floor. And up the stairs. And bam, bam, bam. That's the front door. And then there's stairs up into like the living area as well. There's also a kitchen. Even though we're um, all inclusive, this is like equipped for if you were doing like half board or if you were doing self catering etc this hotel is called the grand oasis um in tenerife and this little area i feel like we won't make that much use of this area to be honest because we just will be at the pool all day or out all day um but it's really nice let me just get this to focus back again there you go lots of greenery really cozy and then this is the upstairs balcony where currently our towels are drying yeah we're just getting ready for dinner i'm excited it's italian night tonight apparently this staircase is quite dark i will say and uh yeah i'll tell you when we're ready and you can say hello to Jakob, obviously i mean Jakob can say hello to you unless you comment hello to Jakob in the comments <laughs> i don't know Anyway, I'm gonna put something exciting on the telly. Because at the minute, the news is on. This Jakob's evening outfit. Looking very nice, Jakob. Thank you. Lovely. I had a bit of a meltdown with mine. <laughs> had one of those evenings where, you know when you just don't feel nice in anything that you put on? So, this is what we've settled for. Nothing exciting. Some shorts that sort of look like a little skirt and a little black top and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right, have we got everything that we need down here? Yep, got my phone. I'm just going to wear my flip flop. <laughs> Box and blueberry. I changed the settings. Can you tell? No. It's a lot clearer. Except everyone knows these cameras are not great There's in no darkness. Okay. Oh. That's gonna smell. Okay, so in my bag we have the card games, my phone, and else? Take your book in case you're bored. <laughs> My book? That's, That's the daytime. Thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. What? Why'd it go? Oh, you took the card out. Oh, yeah. Well, come on then. Come on then. What did he say? 189 was in Spanish again? I... Something. Something. Ocho nueve. No. Yeah. Ocho nueve. What was 100 in Spanish? I don't know. You're asking the wrong girl. 
Of course it's warm. <laughs> Have I got anything on my top today? Yesterday I had all shit down it. You did. Hello. Hello. So we just played a game of, what's this called? Just Friends Trivia Quiz. Trivia quiz yeah. Oh, focus. This camera doesn't like low light. Anyway, um, Jakob won the first round. Well, how much did you get? 18? Yeah. And I got 16. So that also means that there's 18 maybe that we didn't know. That's true. And we did all the super fan questions. Oh yeah, now we're going to do the easy ones. So I'm going to do the easy ones and see who wins. Let's just do like 10 quick fire rounds, yeah, because we're going to know them all. Drinking wine this evening. Are you ready? Does it make you think how close people have to be together when they're recording films and stuff? Yeah, I've no I, I've, I noticed that when I used to um, film stuff, they'd be like, you need to be close together. Yeah, and they'd be like, fuck, get out. Yeah, it's really close. Right, ready? Hang on, I've only got five. Oh. Five. Okay. So it's not 50. It's 50. 50. Quick fire round. Who's going first? I'll ask you. And then whatever you get or don't get right. What does Rachel convince Ross's girlfriend Bonnie to do with Shave her hair. Yeah. What does Monica Sparrow spend what, what did Monica Sparrow spend her wedding clothes on? Uh a beach house. What does Phoebe crave when pregnant? Oh, me. It was shit. It was me. I'll give you that one. Which character doesn't like dogs? Chandler. Who mugged Ross when he was a kid? Phoebe. Yeah, you've all in. We should have timed each other. They're kind of hard. Well, Which they are kind of hard to drop. How many babies does Phoebe carry for her brother? Three. Which dessert does Rachel make for Thanksgiving when she mistakenly adds a layer of beef sautéed with tears and onions? Uh, a trifle slash uh, beef. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, which of the friends have worked at Central Perth? Yeah, Rachel and Joey. Yeah. Um, which two characters got married in Vegas? Ross and Rachel. When Joey falls at, for, fails his audition for a part in a soup commercial, what does he keep saying <laughs> by mistake? <laughs> Noodle soup. Rachel's boyfriend Paolo is from which country? Italy. In the final episode, Joey buys Chandler and Monica a chicken and duck as a housewarming gift. What does he name them? Don't know. Ah. Who said the line, some girl ate Monica? Some girl ate Monica Chandler. <laughs> oh no, 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 Joey. What? It's Joey, it's Joey. Where did Chandler and Ross go? College. After Rachel leaves him at the altar, who does Barry end up marrying? Mindy. They all fucking flipped. Ross thought Joey was trying to save his life when he heard a gunshot, but what was in fact he trying to save? A sandwich. Who takes Chandler's place in his invasion picture with Monica? Dunno. What is the last name of Monica's boyfriend, Richard? What's Richard's surname? I don't know. I know, but I don't know. Why does Chandler lie about being transferred to Yemen? Janice. Yeah, Janice. Yeah. Which character doesn't share food? Joey. Yeah. Oh shit, so the three what was Richard's surname? But, uh, oh. Chick Jr. and Duck Jr. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and last one, oh yeah, uh, it was Joey that takes the, is it in the picture with Gemma, the one with the application picture at the end of the episode, it's a newspaper. And it's, and it's um, Monica and Joey, and Joey's sitting there in the gift picture. So you got, you got three wrong. Nice healthy snack. <laughs> Is it nice healthy snack? At least you've got some watermelon. <laughs> Just chilling at the pool today. It's very warm today. Bloody lovely. Then I came home and I had to have um, a filling. Oh, basically, I had to have two dentist appointments in like the space of a week. I had a filling and then just like a normal like clean. And then I had to have a tooth out. Tooth. A tooth. Basically, in Wales, in Wales we say tooth, but. I live in England so it's been like beat out of me if I say tough I just get absolutely ripped to shreds 
tooth tooth anyway this one of these back ones at the bottom has had to come out and let me tell you the pain i felt i swear you're not supposed to feel pain like that's what the numbing is for no it i swear it did nothing it hurt so much and it's been exactly a week actually a week today since i had it taken out and only now is like it's starting to feel semi-normal um i feel like it's gonna be a little while before i can chew on this side but you know this side's fine um yeah it hurt but i needed to come out and that's that and then yeah what else did i do i went to london last Saturday um, with Jakob for my friend Emily's birthday. Um, went to Flight Club in Shoreditch. It was so fun. Highly recommend. We had bottomless Prosecco, bottomless pizza, and you play games of darts. You probably know about Flight Club. Um, actually, a lot of people that I spoke to didn't even know what it was, so maybe you don't. But um, yeah, that was super fun, and yeah, loved that. I've got a couple more like exciting things to come, like towards the end of the year I'm seeing quite a lot of shows and me and Jakob are gonna obviously want to go to London for our Christmas times like winter wonderland Christmas shopping London's like our favorite place in the whole world so we love to just go and have a Christmas day every year we don't live that far from London so it's like it's fine it's chill anyway back to present day that bagel was friggin delicious by the way I really wanted another one but I was like don't do it don't do it um but i'm gonna have a coffee in a sec and snack <sighs> i'm really cold but i need to start moving i need to clean the house um but i want to show you what i picked up from home sense today actually i'll show you some autumn bits that i bought recently one sec um okay i just realized i can't show you 99 percent of the things that i bought because they're christmas part of a christmas present so if you go to home sense and don't come home with a candle you're doing it wrong um there were so many there was so many autumn winter candles in home sense today had the time of my life went to the opticians this morning went to home sense honestly and i could i spent like the most amount of time in there that i wanted to because i was by myself and it was the morning so i was in no rush um but yeah so i smelt all of the candles but nothing hit like this one, DW Home Falling Leaves. <sighs> Do you know, since I've had COVID, I, sometimes my scent's a bit funny, like my sense of smell is a bit funny, um, but I can smell this and it smells friggin' delicious. It's really nostalgic, the smell. <sighs> and I'm like a super nostalgic person. But it just says falling leaves. I don't actually know what it's meant to smell like. I feel like, to me, this is what the original um, leaves candle from Bath & Body Works would smell like. I've never actually smelled that candle. But that's what I think of when I smell this. And I really want to light it today. I'm gonna. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna light it. I'm in the house for the rest of the day anyway. Are we ready? I mean, you can literally smell it without... Um, light in it but i'm gonna light it just while i'm cleaning then Jakob will come home to a lovely smelling candle cute okay um this is from m &S. i got some chai tea bags um because like i said i was in m s earlier because i was looking for those really small kiwis that i've seen someone have online and they didn't have them i want to i'm I want to find them. I want to eat them. Um, but yeah, I got some chai tea bags. I'm not a big... Actually, I, I do not like chai tea lattes at all. But I want to make some chai cookies. The Taylor Swift Christmas cookies. If you know, you know. Back to Home Sense, I got two of these. Are these called gauntlets? Um, basically, Jakob's been wanting some oven mitt but he doesn't like the ones that are stuck together. He prefers, oh, excuse me. He prefers ones that are separate. So a pack of two gauntlets and they're like rubber at the end so he can't get them all weird. Um, it's a messy boy, that one, but I love him for doing pretty much all the cooking in the house. Uh, yeah, so I got them. Forgot how much they were though. Then, 
for a bloody serrated knife. Honestly, this is the most adult shop. Um, four ninety nine, Morphe Richards because we haven't had a serrated knife since we lived since we've lived here, and it's been nearly exactly a year. <laughs> so it's like every time we're cutting bread, it's just not happening. And then. The other thing in there is also part of a present, but then I also got these. I know it's premature, but I couldn't pass them up because they looked so cute. And what I've decided this year, the Christmas tree ball. Sorry guys, I'm just on my phone for a sec because my um, camera is full. I really need another memory card. That is another thing that I need to buy. Anyway, I was showing you these um, Christmas tree ball balls. I know, like I said, I was going to say it's a bit early. Um... But I've decided, so basically I have a lot of tree baubles, but they're all like, they're, they're like cheap ones. It's not, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They look completely fine. I'm going to use them this year. But I also, over the time, I want, uh, am wanting to pick up um, some more unique ones and like little ones in packets like this or individual here and there. So the tree looks like it's got a bit more character and they're not just round baubles um so yeah i thought this was a good start uh 5.99 for them which might be kind of steep but i think they're actually glass so that's cool but um yeah so that's all i got from home sense apart from i did buy a little little bits and bobs as a start of um christmas present for somebody <laughs> who will definitely watch my video so i'm not I'm not gonna put it in the video <laughs> let me show you what i got from matalan not too long ago um oh i don't you've probably seen this before actually um this is from asda snuggle season my nose is so bunged up got this pumpkin cushion i think this was nine pound from matalan love this love the colors and um, what was that probably a spider and then this throw that matches it it's just been on the seti because it's friggin freezing <laughs> recently Look how adorable it is. This was so affordable as well. I mean, it's not very big, but it's big enough for me to snuggle under. Um, and then I did get some bedding, but it's actually on my bed at the minute. It's got mushrooms on it. It's kind of weird, but yeah, got that. <laughs> and then I got, sorry, I'm like crouching. And then I got um, two candles, one called Coffee Break, which is ground coffee mixed with coconut and toasted almond. She doesn't have too much of a smell, but it was only, I think, £6. That's kind of expensive, actually. But yeah, this and then one that you're balancing on, which you saw earlier, is called baking something. Baking something. But yeah, two little candles and all that bit stuff. Thought I'd make it all cosy. <laughs> anyway, I am... Um, I'll input some footage. But whilst that's doing its thing, I'm going to make a start on cleaning the house because it's really friggin' messy right now. Like, but also like before this it's like we really do make ourselves out to be like because like, 